Hey, welcome back to another episode of Addicted to Gear. Today we're looking at the Heat Blaster from Providence, a really cool distortion pedal. Sounds like something that you'd find out of Star Wars, right? The Heat Blaster, but it's actually not a ray gun. It's a distortion pedal and it's a really nice one. Now I've been playing this pedal for the last couple of days with uh, various guitars and amplifiers just to see you know what I can do with it and uh, putting it through its paces so to speak so I can give you an accurate review and I've been having a blast no pun intended with the pedal because I found that uh, it offers a lot I mean I was originally thinking that the pedal was just going to be a typical distortion pedal and whatnot uh, it's actually a little bit more than that because it offers some really great crunch tones it can get you into that sort of bitey distortion as well but it also cleans up really nicely just with the volume knob on your guitar and so often that's lacking in some of the lower end distortion pedals that's a feature that i really do like though because i really want to have the ability to dial things back just with my my volume knob if a pedal doesn't do that it's kind of a, a negative but this pedal does it quite well the pedal looks like a typical uh, distortion pedal but there's some really nice features built into it that i wanted to discuss with you now the first thing you're going to notice is that it has this cool metal plate this basically will relieve some of the pressure on the switch and it won't cause the switch to fail and you know obviously we all know that the first thing to break on a pedal most of the time is a switch i've already gone through quite a few on my other pedals and it's nice to see a company that's taking that initiative to do something about it so that's a nice feature to have on the pedal the pedal itself is small it doesn't have a big form factor it doesn't take a big it doesn't take a lot of space on your pedal board a nice reasonable sized footprint the back of the pedal has uh, screws that you have to remove to get to the battery compartment um, but th listen to this see there's no shaking there's no like rattling or anything like that again because the pedal is well built the pedal itself is built in Japan and that's a rare feature to have these days more and more companies are building their their pedals in china and whatnot and we all know that uh, for example some of the older pedals like the old boss pedals that were originally made in japan have become quite expensive and collectible over the years why because they were well built and they sounded great and i think that this pedal is no different the other great thing is that it does have a little switch on the side here for a bass boost so if you're working with an amplifier that's already maybe a little bit bright, you have you can pump and pump up a little bit more bass. Or if you already have a bassy amplifier, obviously you can cut that. The rest of the tone controls are quite similar to most any pedal. You have a level, you have a tone and a gain knob, but the sweep on the knobs are quite dynamic, uh, a lot of range to them, and the LED uh, light on it is. Um, has a little diffuser on it so it's a nice handy little touch to, to add to the pedal so let's listen to the pedal i'm going to be playing the pedal through my brunetti plexi man i'll have it on the clean channel and uh, i'm recording the amplifier with an sm57 and an akg room mic so basically trying to reproduce the sound that i'm hearing here live for you okay so let's go through the pedal i'm going to just play a few tones, dial back the volume so you can hear it clean up and whatnot. And, um, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what it, what it has to offer. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. 
So there you have it, the Heat Blaster. It's a really fun pedal to play with. I recommend that you guys check it out for yourself. If you get an opportunity to play this in your local store, definitely uh, take a moment to try it out for yourself. I think you're gonna be impressed. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do. We're always looking for any kind of comments. I'm happy to answer your questions. Just leave them below in the comment section and I'll definitely get to them. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, shame on you and subscribe right away because there's going to be some more great pedals that I have waiting on the sideline to be reviewed. And I'm just trying to find the time to do them all. But uh, you're going to miss them if you don't subscribe. So subscribe, stay tuned and keep rocking.